This is the all new 2022 G70 all-wheel drive prestige edition. Let's get started. The Genesis G70 lets out 252 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque from an inline four engine. And it goes zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds. It's kind of slow, honestly. Oh yeah, it's pretty slow. Yeah, this is this is an accountant's car, I decided. You have to be an accountant to buy this car. With like, straight up. Like an accountant car with like no children because there's no room in the back. They are tight, dude. We did not fit in there like by any chance. No, but let's start out with the front. Let's do it. What do we think of the front, Joe? The front grille, I think, is absolutely beautiful. They did a good job with it. And um, I don't like that plastic piece that you actually mentioned that they kind of squeezed. You don't like it? it? What is that, a sensor? Yeah, it's a radar sensor because this has highway driving assist. Okay. So they had to put that in there. But the cool thing about it is if you look at the grill, it has its own individual like holes inside of it. Mm -hmm. And they had to achieve the same thing for the radar. So they actually, it's like, it's printed on there. So it's oh, not realistic but they tried to make it as realistic as possible, which gotcha. looked amazing. Gotcha, they did a good job with the front for sure. So speaking of the front, Ed, what do you think about the headlights? I love the headlights. It comes with running LED lights, also LED headlights and LED fog lights, I believe. Uh, it looks so distinct. It's like there's nothing out there of like this caliber. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the Rivian lights because like the Rivian, you see it on the street and it looks you like- You can see it from a mile away, yeah, you know what it is. Yeah same thing with this car yeah, exactly. the, the front is like absolutely beautiful and i love the leds they're always running um and they just look nice like all together whoever designed this car from the front and back it looks they did a phenomenal job i agree one thing with the design i think this car looks a lot more expensive than it actually is yeah when you first see it, it looks like a bentley or like something, something super yeah. high end you know what i mean and then uh you get closer and it's a genesis but the good part about that is you can get in a car that looks like a bentley for a fraction of the price yeah but i feel like do people know you're not driving like a mercedes or bmw it depends i'm sure some people do some people don't really care don't look or whatever but i think it gives you that look from the outside for sure and the cool thing is actually like going back on that because we're from chicago so we have like winneka northbrook which are like the high-end areas and genesis also has like the suvs which are like the gv70 and, GV80. Nice. and like you see that in those neighborhoods and they look like top notch they exactly. compare with like bmw mercedes exactly, so yeah. whoever designed these cars are amazing so I, I i like i personally love this car and um yeah so i like it so not only does this car have the looks but it's also super reliable being a hyundai yeah it's very good it shares the same platform i think it's of like the elantra platform which is like kia hyundai and genesis are all on the same uh, company so i think it shares that so you can't go wrong with these cars because exactly. they're gonna like last forever exactly yeah all right so moving on to the back ed how do you think the back looks i love it i actually love the back it has the whole genesis like emblem on the back i think it looks really really beautiful i love the brake lights my only gripe with this car is you would think for like a almost a fifty thousand dollar car it would have quad exhaust but it's only like dual exhaust on one side i saw that yeah when we were getting the uh, rolling shots i noticed that it would look really nice if it had quad exhaust um but it's not bad i think the back actually to me when i first saw it up close it reminded me of the uh, mercedes cls my yeah. aunt has one and as soon as i saw it i was like wow that looks exactly like it so don't quote me on this again like similar to the review one where i got the batteries uh, percentage wrong in the car um i believe that the designer of genesis now came from B uh, bmw oh did he yeah so which you can i can't really see like the bmw like styling design but very very good like styling like the back is absolutely beautiful my only gripe with this car is it has like a sporty like feeling and a vibe and like what do you think of the exhaust tone the exhaust was a little plain but again it is like a family single guy kind of sedan type thing so i don't expect it to have like a big roar roar or anything like that yeah but this is not a family car this is more of like a bachelor car like a businessman type type of thing but i guess yeah the the exhaust was kind of underwhelming to be honest um and just like this is how the exhaust sounds yeah like it doesn't sound good it's not good, but it's not bad either. I mean, you're not buying like a 
something super exotic. Yeah, but, for, th- but for a car that has a sports plus mode, aside from the regular sports mode, you would think like the exhaust would sound so much better. That's true. That's true. I wonder if the valves open up or close when you hit sport mode. I haven't. Chill, man. It's not a Mercedes I Benz know. or a BMW. I know, I know, I know. But I think it would be cool if they added like a valve opening close. Like if you put it in sport plus mode, the valve opens yeah. up and the car like starts roaring. I think that would be cool. Yeah, but also keep in mind like this is the 2.0 V4. That's true. So I think because this is not the top trim, you can go up to 3.0 liter or 3.3 liter, which is gets the V6. So I think that gets the um, valve exhaust or quad exhaust, but I'm not entirely sure. That'd be cool. Okay, moving on to the wheels. This car has 18 inch wheels, uh, which they're not black, but they look good. I saw some other videos of having it like having the wheels gloss black um it makes the car like pop out better especially with this white color yeah. but uh it's not bad um how are the brakes on this car yeah i like the wheels that come with this car the brakes feel solid um we've had uh, no issues with it we got on the brakes a little bit and they they work perfectly fine so yeah this is like a it's a it's a hyundai so like the brakes are gonna be good way better than the Rivian that we drove last week yeah uh, on the yeah, braking because it's kind of hard to tell though with the Rivian and that one pedal driving thing. That's kind true. Of throws you That's off. That's true. Yeah. But the uh, the braking is good on this car. No complaints there. Yeah, the braking is good. 18 inch wheels again. Um, this car gets 20 uh, 20 miles to the gallon, 28 combined on the highway. It's very good. It's like an economic car. You, again, it's like a bachelor car that actually does pretty well on gas. Um, so yeah, so just keep that in mind. So overall, outside of the car, do you like it? Yeah, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. I think they, they killed the design. I like it. The design looks really, really good. My only gripe with the outside is, um, so the top of the car it has like a nice sunroof, but it's like half black. I know. That was weird how they stopped that. You said your car is kind of different, right? Yeah, so I have a Sonata, a 2021 Sonata, which it's the same exact color, but the the roof of the car is like fully black, which gives it like a more distinct two-tone look. I agree, that's nice how that looks. And this is, again, this is a fi- almost a $50,000 car. You would think they would go all out with this, but they didn't, which that's yeah. my like gripe with the car. But overall, like it looks good. I agree, if they change that, the outside would be a 10 out of 10. Um, but the design, as far as the way the car looks on the outside, I think they did a good job for sure. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful design. Okay, my turn driving the car. First impressions, I really like the interior. Uh, it has this like maroon leather. Yeah, it's like a soft touch material that feels really nice. Yeah, and it just, the layout's really, really good. I like everything. It has really good speakers, like very nice design on it. Um, all the controls are, they're kind of plasticky, but they feel pretty good. No, they feel solid. I mean, they, I think they are plastic for sure, but they feel feel solid. I like how they... Yeah, and like, again, like, keep in mind, like, this car is supposed to compete with, like, Mercedes, BMW, Volvo, Audi, and I would put this car on par with Audi. I wouldn't put this car on par with, like, Mercedes or BMW. You think so? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. No way. Mercedes, they have way more technology and way more features, and when you, like, get inside a Mercedes, it's just, like, it feels so premium. Yeah. Yeah, but this is not a bad place to be either. I mean, like you said, the finish is beautiful. I like the color too the, on this specific car. Yeah, it's got like that nice. brown, uh, brown material, super nice. Yeah. Okay, the steering wheel feels very, very nice. It has everything you need. It has the highway driving assist feature, and it tells. It also has a button where it tells the car like how far you want to be from the car in front of you. Um, it just, it's a nice steering wheel. I kind of prefer like a circular Audi RS steering wheel, but I yeah. think that's kind of pushing it. But that is, no, it looks nice though. I mean, I think they did a good job. It looks high end. Like just looking at it from here, I think the wheel looks high end. The buttons look like they're metal, even though they're plastic. Yeah, they're it really looks nice. nice though. Yeah, yeah, no, it looks really, really nice. It comes with two paddle shifters, which are plastic as well. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna like put it down on that because like this is not like a fully, fully loaded car, but it feels very, very nice. It also comes with a nice display. My only thing is, it's like it's half digital and half analog. Yeah, I noticed that. That's kind of weird. One of the tachometers is not is digital the other one is not which is kind of weird yeah you said your car is all digital no? yeah yeah i have a 2021 sedata again and it's fully digital it has like an led like display and this is not i don't know like i don't really like that especially for the price range but it's not bad um yeah the digital is just like normal it just shows you like your tire pressure your engine temperature and like all that kind of stuff so nothing like crazy but just like the driver's side like it feels very very nice it has like nice speakers um and just like the material it's kind of plastic but it's like it's not bad so yeah. but i agree i think the digital display should be standard on all cars 2022 and newer. Yeah. i mean it seems like it should be the the side that's digital looks really nice 
the other side just kind of looks kind of old. Looks old, yeah. yeah. And you have uh, the Hyundai, what is Sarah drive? The Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. And the analog, it's like, it's exactly yeah. the same as that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Which, that's a 2018. Yeah, so. so I don't really like it, but no, it's not bad. Okay, moving on to the infotainment system. It's very, very good. It has uh, like a navigation, which is like, it's semi laggy, but it actually does the job. I think it's better than the Rivian though. Oh yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? You're like you were moving the map around and it was on point moving. The yeah. Rivian kind of dragged, like you'd move it, it would take a second and then like kind of jump to it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I really like it, but it's very responsive. It has everything you need. It has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it has valet mode. And then it has like the radio, HD radio and stuff. And it has one more cool thing. What is that? That nature, sounds of nature. I think that's a really cool touch. Listen to this. Yeah, it is like the sound of nature and uh, it's a cool touch. It's kind of a gimmick. It is like, why would you need to listen to water running? <laughs> yeah, or like if you're like sad boy hours at night, like you just put it on uh, the heated thing. I but guess it's a cool touch. Yeah, it's cool. cool. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Moving on to the climate control, it's very easy to use. It has digital, it's digital through the screen, but you can also control it with like actual buttons, which yeah. I really, really like. I like that too. That way if you're driving, you don't have to like dig through all these menus and stuff. No. It's like right there. Yeah, I really like it. That's and cool. it's like, they look nice. They kind of look like the Audi. You exactly. know how the Audi has say that? Yeah, like those rings. That's, that looks yeah, nice. it like looks really, really cool. They did a phenomenal job. Um, and it's like easy to mess that up now if you make it like fully in the infotainment. Oh. Oh, yeah, system. you get lost trying to look for it. And that's kind of dangerous while you're driving. Yeah, hundred percent. But overall, the climate control, the infotainment system, it's really, really good. It comes with a 10 inch uh, screen, so not bad. Like it's it's very basic. Yeah, I you agree. would say right. I agree for sure. All right, so moving on to the seats. Um, these seats, I think, are super comfortable, and yeah. I love the design. They look super fancy yeah. like, before you get in. I love the design, how it, like kind of runs down the seat. I think they kill the design. And like. What is that like right next to you? Yeah, so right here on the uh, passenger seat, there's a button where you can kind of move the seat up and down. Like right here, I'm moving up, I'm moving back. You can lean backwards and forwards. I think it's really cool. Plus, I think that's good if you're sitting in the back seat and you want to get out and the seat, the passenger seat is too far back. You can actually control it from the back seat, which is cool. Yeah, and like this could also like be like, not really, but like if you're like a driver and you're picking up passengers yeah. and you want to move it back. So like exactly, yeah. that's another cool feature of it. Sure. Um, yeah, but the seats are like beautiful, very comfortable. Yeah, they feel premium. Um, and yeah, like just all like all together, it's a very, very comfortable car. But what do you think of the back space? It is tight, dude. There's like absolutely no space back there. We open the door and we see like there's no leg room. I'm like, how am I supposed to get in there? Yeah, there's like nothing. Like again, I'm 5'11", 6 foot. <laughs> 510. <laughs> yeah, 510. And if we try to sit like how we're sitting right now in the back, I, there's no way I would fit. Can't do it. No, it's made for kids, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. This Genesis comes equipped with a beautiful sunroof that takes about half of the uh, roof of the car, which I think is a nice touch that comes with a uh, shade that you can also close if you want to have the uh, sunroof closed. I don't like it. You don't like the sunroof? No, it's like halfway. Like, again, I'm gonna put this again. My Sonata has a fully panoramic sunroof. But this it, car feels smaller than your car though, doesn't it? Yeah, but I, I'm sure like they could do it. It's Hyundai. Yeah, but I, don't know. I kinda like it. It's not bad, it's not bad, but I like for the, again, for the price of the car. I see what you're saying. I like. That should come I, with it. Yeah, I feel like there should be more to it. Yeah. But overall, like, not bad material. All right, Ed, so we're at everybody's favorite part of the video. If you had $46,000 laying around, would you buy this car? Okay, again, not a surprise. No, I would not buy this All car. Right. Dude, you're tough, man. Yeah. Tough to please. No, especially for $45,000. <laughs> I feel like there's, like, a lot of other cars in that price range. Like, I would rather get, a, like, a fully, uh, like, hooked up, like, Sonata for that. Okay. Like, it would come with all the bells and whistles. Again, I know this is not, like, fully loaded, but I would not. It's very comfortable drive. Um, like, it's a nice car. Like, the steering, the, the like, the, the damping on the car is very, very nice. But I don't think I would buy it. It's just way too expensive. And it's not big. It's not, like, a really, really big yeah, car. Yeah, it's pretty tight. What would you do? I'm going to have to agree with you on this one. I don't think I would oh, buy Oh, Joe said yeah. you wouldn't buy this car. I, I don't think I'd buy this car. It is too tight. Um, it's pretty pricey for what you get, like you yeah. said, all the plastic bits and things like that. Um, so it is a little steep for um, for what you get. So I think I would pass on this car. But guys, what do you think? If you had 46 grand, would you guys spend it on this car? Let us know in the comment section down below. Also, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do.